Okay, so welcome to part two of making a Game Boy in Blender. If you haven't already seen part one where we do the modeling, go ahead and check it out on my channel. But this is pretty much part two where we're just gonna be doing some lighting, materials, and rendering out our final result. And once again, these blend files are available on my Patreon. You can find the link in the description below. Okay, so now that we're in part two, let's go Shift A, let's add in a plane. And this is gonna be our studio or stage, if you will, where we're gonna have our Game Boy. And we're gonna go S to scale it up about that much and then S, Y, and then go S, X, and just give it some scale along the X. Tab into edit mode and then just select the back edge here and G, Y, move it back a bit. Then E to extrude it and Z, extrude it up on a Z. Then just select this edge over here and go control B and just give that a nice big bevel. Roll your middle mouse button for some segments and tab back into object mode. Right click and go shade smooth. You can use your default camera. So just select it and then hit zero to go into camera view. Double tap R to rotate the camera. G to move the camera. And you can also just G and middle mouse button to zoom out. But what I like to do is I like to go to my focal length and change it to 95 and then zoom the camera back out a little bit. And I'm going to go to my output settings and make it 10 80 at the top, so that's the X resolution. So having it on the X and Y as the same value, that'll give us a square aspect ratio. But I'm just gonna make sure I'm zoomed in nice and close. And you can actually go to the focal length and bump it up to maybe 120, then zoom back out a nice shallow angle. And um, we shouldn't be seeing anything sticking out over here. So we should just see the whole background and then the Game Boy inside of there. We can actually select the reference image and hit X and delete that and then go control B in object mode and just select over the camera. And that's just gonna make a render limit so it won't render outside of the camera view. And then we can go to our render settings and let's change the renderer to cycles. If you have a GPU, you can enable it, but if you have a CPU, that's fine. And then you can go over to do noise, click on that, and that'll give you some denoising, which is all really cool as well. So there's a few basic things there, but let's hit Z and go rendered. And that's what we have right out of the box, but we have this kind basic light in here. We can select that and just go to our light settings and make that point light increase the value. So I'm gonna change that to 2000 and that's a little bit brighter. But what you can also do, and I'd recommend this, is you just go to your world settings. You can go to color and then give this a sky texture and then come here to the strength and make that 0.3 and that's looking a lot better. So now we have some nice lighting on our Game Boy. But let's go over to our shading workspace and let's go into our camera view, hit Z, go rendered, and let's select the Game Boy itself. And let's just go over here to our node setup and under the principle, we're just gonna to come to the roughness and just bring that down so we get a bit more reflectivity in the Game Boy. And one thing you can do, but it's not something you have to do, but if you're gonna be seeing it from different angles, you can just go into edit mode and select the back face. Go control plus and just grow the selection a few times just to select all of these edges or ends of the Game Boy and the back and then go to your materials tab hit plus and go assign make that a new material and then if you simply just go over here to your drop down you get that Nintendo image so you can kind of see it over here in this texture or image viewing panel and let's just go over to the base color of this new material click on the eyedropper and then click on that material to roughly match it now if we go Z and just go to material preview for now, tab back out, you can see that color kind of almost blends in with the Game Boy there. So this is a quick and dirty way to make a Game Boy. And with the buttons here, if you're seeing that kind of black smearing down the end, just select both of those and go back into your UV editing. And you can just individually select them, scale them down a bit more and move them just so they're only picking up that pink over there on the buttons. And that should clean that up a little bit. So it does have limitations, this method. Um, by no means is it perfect. Um, you're gonna get some stretching and smearing on the sides. But just for a quick little result like this, making a game ball like this is actually not too bad. So I'm gonna go to render now and go render image. Let's see what the final result looks like. And there you have it, that is the Game Boy. And that took like just a few minutes to make. I mean, it took me a little bit longer because I'm doing a tutorial, but if, when I first made this, it was like a 10 minute project. 
and it was really, really easy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And as always, I will be making the blend files available on my Patreon. And if you guys really like the stuff I do, one way you can support me is you can go in the description below and I have a link to Skillshare. And if you use my link, you can get Skillshare free for one month. And then you can decide whether you want to go on or not. And that's kind of like a safe way for you to try it out and see if you like it or not. And I've got a ton of really cool courses on there as well, stuff related to Blender and 3D. That's really handy because it also comes with a lot of the blend files and reference materials and assets. And it's just a ton of fun. So I definitely encourage you guys to check it out. It's a big help to me, helps me make more content for the channel, but it can also help you guys out a lot. So it's kind of like a win-win and I really like that sort of situation. And I'm not just asking you to just give me something for nothing. So I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope it's been a fun little project and I'll see you guys later for another tutorial.